this is Iceman John Bailey. Welcome back to another Iceman series segment. In this video, I want to talk a little bit about choosing the correct trigger release. They have all types of trigger releases out on the market, from caliper to uh, tension pullers to uh, uh, hook releases to string hook releases. Just different type of. They have the one uh, wrist straps and the one uh, the handle type releases and like I said it could be overwhelming uh, when it comes to choosing the correct release but me personally I actually choose my release uh, because I wanted to make sure that it actually fits my total shooting style what I mean by that is you can buy a release that's fixed what I mean by fixed there's no adjustments on the release you can buy one that's too long. You can definitely buy one that's too short. But I personally recommend you buying a release that you can adjust. Because me personally, when I put on a release, I want to make sure that uh, when I draw back, I want to be stiff. And what I mean by stiff, I want to be right at my uh, true anchor point which is I use the inside of my knuckle and it, it basically touches my earlobe and my, my left hand is extended to the fullest. Got a really slight bend in it but it's extended to the fullest. And uh, what I want to talk about today is uh, the difference between uh, a hook release um, and a uh, caliper release. For years I was using Scott's and this is uh, one of my favorite release is the uh, the Scott's Sabertooth and I've actually had this release in the stand with me I don't know how many times but I'm gonna tell you it's it's really sweet this is a really sweet release and it's adjustable it has adjustment screws in the actual uh, uh, neck of this release so when you actually uh, at full draw you either could be too short or too long but when you adjust these screws on this release to go up or should I say go in and out to extend it or contract it, it you find your sweet spot and the only way you can really know that you're consistent uh, uh, with the release is when you out when you're shooting your group gets tighter and tighter you know you got your trigger release set properly and also uh, your release it also has a uh, um, trigger adjustment where you can make your trigger lighter or you can make a little bit stiffer uh, when you're actually pulling when you're actually shooting should I say but uh, like I said Scott's release is one of my favorite uh, release companies they make some phenomenal release I, I definitely can't take that from them they definitely make some phenomenal release but I personally like the wrist trap release over the the, the handle release I, I just do because I, I just cannot turn my hand and use my thumb and shoot because for years since I'm gonna say uh, 87 I started using a release because before 87 I was using a three finger glove some of you guys know what I'm talking about I was just using a three finger glove with a compound bow that's just that's just the way I was shooting until I got introduced to a release by a friend of mine but um, like I said getting back to a, the, the proper release is I love the caliper I love the caliper release but I actually was interested in a true fire as well this is the uh, the true fire true fire hook release and I did not think I would like it I watched uh, I think Droy Outdoors Dave was talking about the uh, the true fire release on how well they was able to tighten their groups with this actual release because it's actually contoured if you can see and also it it pivots the head of it pivots so when you have full draw it basically pivots and it it uh, actually sits in a, in a in the spot the correct spot should I say when you have full draw when it when that head pivots it sits in the correct spot for you to uh, when you release it's supposed to go straight 
and stay to go left, right, up, down, whatever the case may be. But I really like this release, the uh, the, the Hardcore by True Fire and the Hardcore 2, which is, uh, it's not much difference in the Hardcore 2 uh, than, the, uh, than the Hardcore. I, I don't really see a difference. But um, I think the hook is just a tad bit different on a hardcore and a hardcore two. I think the hardcore two hook bends back; it extends out a little further. That's the way it looks from looking at these release here. That's that's about it. But all the other features are the same on these uh, particular release here because the hook goes out a little further on a hardcore two than my hardcore. Uh, but like I said. When you adjust, when you adjust your release properly, when you adjust the trigger, and you you adjust the length of your release, and uh, let me demonstrate for you on what I'm talking about. When you know you have your release adjusted properly, lengthwise, uh, not the trigger, but lengthwise, when you at full draw and everything is just nice and stout, everything is stout, the, uh, the back wall is at its peak, the grip is at the very back of your hand and you don't feel like you're over extending yourself that lets you know right then and there that your release is set properly you have it at the right setting uh, on on your bow as well make like I said make sure make sure you're shooting the right draw length as well. Always make sure you're shooting the right draw length. Some guys, the draw length is just too, uh, is too long. Some guys' draw length is too short. But if you're overextending yourself, even when your release is set properly, you still might have a bow that's too long. Or if you feel like you're just inconsistent, that would definitely make you inconsistent if when you're at full draw, you, you can't get a good group. You something straining your shoulder somewhere your neck is straining but when you at full draw boom you just stop and everything is tight it's, it's tight into the pocket of your hand and everything is tight your shoulders is, is locked back and some guys had a, the arm down uh, don't your, your anchor when you when you at full draw your arm should be at least like this when you at full draw and your neck and everything your body let me let me demonstrate it again your body when you hit full draw with your setup everything is supposed to be straight everything I mean I just think that you can miss deer a lot if you shoot and your head is down over to the side I think when you when you bow hunting when you at full draw I sure hope I don't shoot this arrow when you at full draw everything everything should be just straight up and down you're supposed to be vertical your body should be vertical your head should be vertical uh, your anchor point should be the same every time like I said what I do I use the inside of my knuckle and I touch my earlobe and when I do that everything is tight boom the bow when I draw the bow it stops right here and my arm 
for the most part is fully extended except a small bend but it's just no it's just uh, uh, natural now to me because I, I do it so much I've shot so much over the years where it just it's just automatic I don't have to look at my arm and say oh don't forget to bend your arm it's just it's just kind of it's kind of bent but also I make sure my stance I stand at like a five degree angle when I shoot I don't I don't my body is not sideways that's the wrong way to shoot a bow is sideways you want to turn your body in at least five degrees because when you do that that string see that that string is for the most part is going to miss that arm and you're going to get a really good uh, consistent shot but like I said always make sure that uh, when you buy a bow make sure that bow fits you but like I said my my verdict versus uh, my VXR 28 is really not that much difference in the riser height it's about an inch and a half about an inch and a half difference in the height of this riser but uh, like I said just make sure make sure you got that uh, just make sure you got the right setup before you go in those woods because me personally I don't buy a bow because it's cool looking I buy a bow if I like the axle to axle if I like the uh, brace height if I like the grip if I like the sound of the bow I want the bow I definitely want my bow to be quiet I shouldn't have to put a bunch of stuff on my bow to make it quiet that to me I don't really want to buy a bow that's loud if it's coming from the factory I want to buy a bow that's very quiet from the factory before I even have to add anything on it and the only reason why I put these stabilizers on here is because uh, when I went to Africa with my Halon 6 I decided to put a stabilizer on there because the animals anatomy was so tight I had to put something on there to assist my shot but um, other than that I like to buy a bow like I said if I'm in that stand and I hit that release I don't want that deer to duck as soon as I hit the release. I want him to react when the arrow is just about at him. And that let me that lets me know right then and then and there that I have a quiet bow. But getting back to these release. I, like I said, the true fire hardcore and the hardcore two to me is one of the coolest type of releases out there because it uh, it pivots. It has this little pivot in the actual release itself and it actually once you have full draw it just corrects it pivots and it corrects itself on wherever your end shots gonna well should I say where your shots gonna end up at and like I said you can address you can adjust the trigger tension on here and um, make it even crisp but I don't even really touch the trigger um, adjustment much I just use the factory and it suits me just fine but uh, but if you want to actually adjust this here, it's a little set screw right here where you can just unloose the set screw and turn it out or turn it in to adjust to you. But when you, like I said, when you have full draw, don't overextend yourself because you're going to be missing deer. You're going to be very inconsistent. But when you go to full draw and everything is real tight, that lets you know right then and there that you, you're real close. And then when you really start shooting, and you start stacking real good. I mean, getting really tight, and you're not you're not fatigued. Your your shoulder don't hurt. Your your elbows and your wrist and your arm, your neck don't hurt. Your back don't hurt. That lets you know that your stance is good. But don't be leaning back and shooting. Don't be leaning forward and shooting. Uh, don't be cocking your head over or or down on the side. You do what you want, but I just think that's a bad form. But I just think up straight up and down. Just a straight up and down stance, uh, and you, because sometimes you got to stand there, you got to stand there with, and waiting for that deer to come. And if that neck, if that neck is cocked, or that head is straining, that neck is straining, your back is straining, uh, your your stance is just wrong. You're gonna start aching, and all of a sudden you're gonna let down, or you're gonna miss because you're uncomfortable. 
But if you have full draw, standing straight up and down, everything is vertical. I guarantee you, you'll be able to last a whole lot longer at full draw and make that perfect shot. But uh, but like I said, give hardcore, uh, give the uh, uh, true fire hardcore a try. Try it out. Go up to the Army Navy store in Stockbridge. Uh, ask for Nathan Jackson or uh, Bob, and those guys will let you even try them out and uh, see what you think about them. I even like to fold back. You can fold it back out of your way when you're climbing a stand or if you're doing something on your stand or, or putting all of your uh, things together, if you uh, putting your lock on or uh, or if you bringing your bow up or just anything. You just lock it. You just fold it back and just move it out of the way. And then when you're ready to hunt, just pull it back up. You're just ready to hunt. I just think this is one of the coolest trigger releases out there is the um, the True Far hard, Hardcore. And uh, like I said, it has a lot of different uh, functions compared to some of them because you got the you got this function here, this function here to actually adjust the uh, the trigger, and this function here if you want to lock down the um, actual front part. But me, I like for it to float, and once it floats and, and stays at that particular spot before I release that arrow, it pretty much goes right in this particular spot where I wanted to go. But I'm going to go ahead and take one shot and then I'm going to get out of here. But uh, like I said, uh, check them out. Get on True Fire uh, website. Check out the hardcore release. And uh, and give it a try. Like I said, you go to an Army Navy store and ask for Nathan, Bob, or Jackson. And they'll even let you shoot one to see what you think about it. But I'm going to go ahead and take me a quick shot and get out of here because i got to go back to work. I'm going to go ahead and take one quick shot and I'm going to get out of here. True Fire. Hardcore release. Extend it. Back wall tight. And one cool thing I like about it when you shoot, the release goes right back. To the starting point. Man. One of the best on the market. True Fire Hardcore. Ice Man signing out. God bless. Take care.